Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going to unbox another one of the Sophie and Toffee Elf boxes. Let's have a look inside. By now my Elf box unboxings are not in order at all anymore. So this one is actually the July Elf box for the resin wax seals. And it comes with this lovely booklet with this pink golden color scheme which I think looks super cool and definitely gives us stationary wipes. So the first item are these wax bits and they come in gold, copper and purple for me. And then we have our melting pan. This one is nice and flat and has a nice large handle. And we also get a candle. And it says scented, but no matter how hard I try to sniff any scent, I can't really smell anything besides candle wax at all. But it's a really nice touch to have this candle in this tiny metal container. Our first mold is actually this handle for the sealed and it comes with this suction cup on the bottom so you can put it onto a surface and pour it from the top. And we also get some colorants in purple, red and green. I have no clue what the tiny sticky dots on top mean. I think they may just be for the people that package it. And our second mold are the seals, of course. So we got custom handmade design, handmade with love, a like, kind of icon border and some decorative stuff. And of course these things are really hard to see, so let me hold the card in the back and hopefully we can see all of the swirls and stuff. And then we have this Japanese UV resin and quick disclaimer, I'm never going to use it. This stuff smells so badly. I was unpacking it from this box and I was wondering why the box smelled so like chemically. And after removing this bottle from its plastic, I knew immediately it was the bottle's fault. So this is going to definitely not be used. And lastly, we have some one-to-one -one ratio resin from Sophie and Toffee. Now, let's have a look inside the booklet and we see all of the things inside. Strangely enough, they say we should get gradient colored wax in random colors. Um, I'm not sure if the colors were supposed to match the picture, but I don't at all. But, you know, I still love the colors I got, so I'm happy. And, of course, we have the instructions, so feel free to pause if you need them. And as per instructions, they want you to insert the seal tops into the handle while you pour the handle. But I decided I want to try and make it magnetic so I can exchange them and don't need to pour multiple handles. And of course, on the last few pages, we see how to glue them and how to heat up the wax. And then comes the best part of the booklet, the creative contest winner. So we have the glow in the dark winner and I have to say, this looks so cute, the tiny alien on the planet with the like spaceship. And then we also see some community stuff, which I really appreciate. And some of them just look absolutely adorable. And of course, Sophie and Toffee's social media information and another picture of all the wax seals. Anyways, let's craft! I found this flat like tray mold or I guess coaster mold and I found that the suction cup holds really really well inside of it. So let's get a candle and actually try this. I mixed up some colors in pure black and then this like color shift metallic green and this color shift metallic purple. And I'm just gonna swirl them around and randomly pour them in hopes that I get like a tiny bit of a marbled effect and that the colors will show through. 
And as I said, I wanted to make this magnetic, so let's pop a magnet in and top it off with the rest of the color. And while we wait for that to cure, let's actually make the wax seal bits. I'm mixing some random colors, orange, blue and red in mica powder pigment and this really cool gold from a previous elf box into some basic UV resin. I didn't want to pour this with two part resin because, you know, I planned to put magnets inside. Now, why do I say plant? Obviously, because I totally forgot. Anyways, that's a problem for later me to figure out, so let's see me pouring. And basically I'm just going random. I just chose some colors I really, really like and just decided to make them more colorful to have a bit of a differentiation between all of them so I can like see which one is which way more easier and you know it gives a nice touch of color to have them lying around with these different kinds and oh, this gold it just looks so good every time i use it i'm speechless on how opaque it is and how gold it actually looks and surprisingly it actually cures really well in this uv resin despite the molds being pretty deep Now that those cured, let's actually unmold them and see how they turned out. Now of course there are some tiny bubbles, but all in all they turned out pretty well. Now the handle was an adventure in and of itself. I had to really search their Instagram to see how they did it, because I didn't want to rip the mold. It was so hard, but in the end I discovered you have to like roll it down and I played so much force and it took a really long time. But once I rolled it back, I could unroll the mold again so it will be usable. And the colors turned out so well. And that's when I noticed that I totally forgot the magnet. So I tried this like magnetic sticky sheets, but they didn't really work. So in the end, I'm using this lock tape. Now, this is like really, really sturdy and easy to use. It's basically like Velcro, but plastic. And to glue it, I'm first going to make the edges let sharp. And this is actually a leather beveler. You can pick them up basically everywhere on Amazon and all of most other platforms. And I'm using it for a lot of resin projects actually, they work really well. So I'm just cutting out the sticky tape and placing it on both sides, so on the handle and on the wax seal.
The sticky part has this really ugly white border, so I'm just using a sharpie to color it black, which actually worked really well. Surprisingly well, I thought it may not stick since it's a very slick surface, but it did. Which makes me happy. And now on to the pouring part. Now I'm gonna show you in a second why I'm not quite happy about the setup and about the warnings. They mentioned that you shouldn't do this close to sh uh, children. And actually this type of ceiling box they use probably as resin in them since it's a flexible type. So the fumes are definitely not the healthiest. But now once I place the seal, I can show you that the temperature of this thing actually is super hot. This has 118 degrees Celsius. So you will definitely burn, which is why I used the lid of the candle to hold it. And which is why further on I will use my own wax seal candle holder. This one has a base, so you can just place the holding spoon tray, the metalling tray into it and wait for the wax to melt. You don't have to hold it, which ensures that it definitely doesn't spill. And it also means that you can set it down and let it cool without getting burns or melting the surface of wherever on you use it on. It will take a little while to melt, but in the end the wax will and it's important that it is melted fully through because if you have chunks to see it will not work. Now the first one I made definitely I pressed a bit too hard, but the rest worked really well. And to my surprise, uh, the wax seals actually didn't do that well in the first few tries. I ripped up the seals multiple times, which was kind of frustrating. So in the end I decided why not trying to lubricate them. So I picked up some Vaseline and just put a tiny layer, like a really thin layer, on top of the seal part and it worked super well. You can kind of see some of my tries where I ripped off the paper and some of them where it actually came off really easily. And there's definitely a huge difference. Now in the end, when you let the wax cool, you can't clean it out of the tray anymore. So you really need to clean it while it's still soft. Since this is resin based, it will stick. And here you can see all of the seals. And I have to say, on the first one I made, I definitely pressed a bit too hard. It went really deep, so you can see the paper through, but that's fine. The rest turned out well. And I'm only showing you the ones where I actually used the uh, Vaseline as a lubricant. And all the details are visible. You can even read the uh, handmade with love and the other, like, writing. And I did some comparison to my metal seals that I have. And obviously they work better since they cool the wax much quicker and they're a bit easier to remove. But in comparison, the detail you can get from them are definitely really high. So I'm really happy that this worked. Of course, I'm kind of upset that I forgot the magnet, but anyways, that's a problem for a later date. And since the base handle still has a magnet inside, I may just one day remove the sticky part of the velcro and, you know, make some <laughs> with magnets inside. Now, aside from all the issues I had with this box, namely how hot the spoon gets, and how easy it is to melt the surface you're using underneath your projects and how easy it is to actually burn yourself really, really badly. Because of course, not only the uh, a spoon is hot, but also the wax is hot. Um, this definitely was fun. I kind of hacked myself through it in taking the paper from the candle top lid thing off and putting the spoon on there but it's still really hard to hold it for a long time so if you want to make multiple box seals i definitely suggest you to pick up one of these stands that i used you just put a tea light underneath and just let it run and it works really well 
And I have to say, the colors I chose for the handle are just so beautiful. I'm really happy about it and I'm really happy about how well it actually works. Now, of course, the molding was a different story, but I guess it's really hard to make a mold like this. And they made it soft enough so it didn't rip when I tried to unmold it, so that's another bonus. And the designs were pretty neat. They had some things that I could imagine would go well in winter and stuff, or this like spring summery like circle thing. And of course the hand white with love stuff is definitely a great thing because I can imagine that some guys who maybe have a store or something like that and make handmade things, which of course lots of people do that get these boxes, um, will use them for when they sell their stuff. Anyways, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this box and if it was something that you were interested in. And of course, as always, have a nice day. Bye!